I love this hotel, Janelle. The Californian is so gorgeous. Look how high the ceilings are. This place is gives you that, that sense of adventure inside the Californian. Mm -hmm. But we're here to check out something else. Janelle, it's been a while since we've been here at the Whitewater Snacks. It's been almost like, what, two years? Mm -hmm. It's been almost so. two years, my friends. So we're back here to try out the new menu at the Whitewater Snacks. And Janelle, I hope you're hungry because I heard this is big, delicious artisan Ooh. pizza that they've just recently announced. So why don't you guys join us today on this wonderful world of food. Here we go. No, I'm getting a bad case of deja vu. <laughs> they got the fruit, and they also got the cool machine. To give you any type of drink, from tea to soda, Whoa. to like... You can choose whatever you tea. want. Coke, you got cherry Coke, cherry lemon. Cherry oh, no. Coke? I cherry, I said cherry lemon. I got too excited. It's just, it says Coca Cola lemon. <laughs> they also got slushy. And if you're staying at the Grand Californian, it's kind of like a grocery store in here. You could choose from, you know, some beverages that are for everyone and some that are not. We also have some cheese. We got some, uh, what is that, cream cheese? Cream, cream cheese, cheese for that toasted bread in the morning. And so, look. And look, they even got Mickey ice cream. Look at this cool, neat Mickey Jello. Up. Mickey Jello. There it is. What? Mm. That is awesome. Wow. Really stepped up their game here, huh? Got new plates here too. Yeah, look at these metal, like they're like metal tin. They're like metal what hands. What are you trying to say, Disney? What are you trying to say? Disney ain't messing around anymore. Oh, look at all this delicious food they're about to try. Yum, yum, yum. I'm excited for this one here. So here we have the carnitas quesadilla with chipotle cream, guacamole, and pico de gallo. Mmm. Ooh. Now this alone is really good, but let's try it with the avocado and the pico de gallo. Oh. I recommend the guacamole with that. Really good. Pico de gallo gives a nice zesty taste to it. Compliments it really well. Take a look at this, my friends. This is the artisanal classic pepperoni pizza with pepperonis and imported cheeses. Let's check this out. Ooh, all right, really thin. Kind of reminds me of New Yorker pizza. Oh, okay, guys, I'm gonna say it right here and right now. This is the best pizza in the whole resort. Disneyland, California Adventure have nothing on this pizza. This is delicious. The crust is so good and the pepperonis are delicious. Mm. Get down to the Whitewater Snacks and try out the Artisan Pizza. It is good. I'll see you later, Janelle. You're gonna have the rest of the food. Pizza boy, watch out, because you got competition. So they also offer the rice bowl with chicken, beef, or both, if you ask nicely. It comes with a sriracha aioli, and hard-boiled egg sesame seed, and green onions. I'm gonna try out every single bite. Was that healthy option? I recommend this one. Ooh, that was really boring. Ooh, that was really good though, too. So the rice is really moist and the meats are really tender and juicy. The beef is very flavorful. And I would think that the sriracha, being sriracha, is spicy, but it's not really spicy at all. It's really good. So right now we have this tasty offering. Take a look at this. So this is the bacon mac and cheese hot dog. As the name says, you do have bacon, you have breadcrumbs, you have green onions, and you have house-made potato chips. Look at this. Whoa, this thing is huge. Here we are. I'm not going to say it's my favorite. Even though the uh, the macaroni and cheese and bacon really good together and the green onion, of course, it's good. It's not artisan pizza. <laughs> um, and they do have better hot dogs at the uh, award winners now. So I would say skip this one out. 
you get yourself something else here at the Whitewater Snack. There's so many different choices. Good, but I've tasted better. Now these potatoes are really good, guys. Seasoned well, and they're very crispy. Now I wish they had like a plate, like a potato plate with like macaroni on it, and I don't know, maybe some beef. That would sound pretty good with some green onions on top instead of the hot dog, right? <laughs> So I could not resist with this Mickey Jello, and it's strawberry. Ugh, I cut his ear off. This is so bad. Mmm. Let me try it now. No. No, let me finish. I was gonna say if you have little ones, they might like this. Has, oh. Fun. I think I'm gonna eat it all, you know. No. <laughs> and this, my friends, is the carnitas nachos. Last time we came here, they came in a bowl. Remember, you know. Now they come in this little metal pan. Ah. Mmm. Carnitas are really good. Got guacamole too, my friends. Mmm. Guacamole is fresh. One thing I'm kind of sad about though. As they got rid of the carnitas burger, it had carnitas, it had a quarter pound Angus beef and guacamole inside and it was so good and they got rid of it. I don't understand why. It's the same carnitas they use in this and trust me, the carnitas here are delicious. What I like about the Whitewater Snacks is that it's never, it's never too busy. You're at the Grand California. How's your drink, my lady? delicious. It's cherry vanilla coke. Yes. Yeah. Alright guys, I just want to say thank you for joining us on this wonderful World of Food episode. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to leave us a comment. If you guys haven't checked us out on Facebook, check us out on the wonderful World of Foodies on Facebook and be sure to join the foodie community. Alright guys, we'll see you guys here next time on the wonderful World of Food. Bye! Bye.